Hi everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome back to the channel. This is a new type of video for me. So you're all used to my colouring catch-ups and book reviews and things like that and the Marilyn videos. Um, but I am now also a part-time eBay reseller. That means I sell things that I've bought specifically from other places like boot sales and charity shops, jumble sales, possibly at some point some retail arbitrage. So I thought I'd do a haul because I've been out quite a bit in the last week and I've got quite a few bits I haven't got around to listing yet. So you can hear Jennifer in the background. She's in her travel cart, so we'll get as much done as we can. It's mostly clothes. There are a few bits of non-clothing which we will do first. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I am new to this, so obviously I'm gonna make mistakes. So what you buy you might not buy some of the things I've bought, especially with the clothing, because I'm still learning on clothing as to what it is. I've had some good sales. I mean, my best flip on clothing so far was a dress I bought for 33p. It was on a, a three for, oh, she's got hiccups again, a three for a pound rail, and I sold it for 18 99 So that's pretty good. So, what did I get? First of all, the non-clothing. For those of you who don't like clothing, you can just watch these few items and then skip the rest. Uh, some of these crafting rubber stamps now i've been picking these up for a while and i get six for a pound although the place i get them from is practically out now and i put them in lots of around nine i did three sets just before christmas and i sold them for 12 pound 50 each so some of them are like those ones were particularly specifically christmas ones so there's obviously christmas one it's a little wreath um easter birthday flowers some fairies more flowers now I've probably got enough for about five or six lots of these now so I'll be starting to bundle these up um, I'm putting them on for about £12.50 so that's the first non clone haul so they're six for a pound so if I sell them for £12.50 I'm out of focus I don't know why um, it, the cost the cost of purchase is £1.50 so it's not too bad so I did go to a couple of charity shops this week and I'm going to show you the non-clothing items before I go on to all the other clothing items. And I bought two photography related items. Now I'm big into film photography, do my own developing and a lot of um, film photographers are being pushed to do their own developing because of the lack of decent high street labs. So I do all my own developing, black and white colour, 35mm, 120mm and so on. The only developing I haven't started doing and don't intend to is slide film because I just don't shoot a lot of slide film. If I shoot a slide film, I will send it off to a lab to be developed. So the first thing I picked up was this development tank, and it was a pound. I don't know if it will focus on that, but it was a pound, trust me. Um, so these are good. That This will probably sell for around £10, so it's not a big profit, but I don't really like these tanks with these lids that are hard to get off. So if you do pick up one of these, they are worth picking up. Because if you get to between 10 and 15, I'd say probably about 10 for this one, because it's an off-brand. I think this would be Jessup's probably. So you just got to make sure you've got all the component parts, which is obviously the lid, the tank part, which is this bit. This part, which is what makes it light tight. I don't know what that is, and it's not necessary. And then the most imp one of the other important bits is the funnel part. Not the funnel part, but the, the spiral stand. So it's a little thing that your little reels stand on. Now, they had a load of them all for a pound in the charity shop, but very none of them came with the reels. So these are the reels. You've seen these before on the channel, if you're watching me, I, I think. If not, you'll be seeing them soon. So this one comes with two, and that makes it worth the £10. If it was only the tank with nothing in it, it would only be worth about a fiver and not worth picking up, unless you were going to bundle it all. Um, but yeah, you can never have enough reels. People always want reels. So if you see a load of reels, pick them up because you can sell them as a bundle for a tenner. And the reason that you always want these things, and you need more of these things than these, is these three, not so much lids, and, well, and the lid, but the, these bits will dry very quickly. But the reels take forever because of all the little nooks and crannies, as you can see there's little holes in it. Um, so your tank will be dry far quicker than your reels. So if you've got more film to develop, if you've got more reels, you can develop more film because you've got more reels. You don't have to wait for your reels to dry. You can dry them with a hairdryer. I've never bothered. 
I usually just wait for them to air dry. But I've got a load of spare reels in a bag that I bought off of eBay. I can't remember much of that. I bought five of them in boxes. So yeah, so that, that would be about a tenner. Plus postage. The other one photography item I bought is this. And you're probably thinking, what on earth is that? This is a, a daylight bulk loading tank. This was two pounds. And basically you open it up, and I'm not sure how to open it up. I've got to check that it's, it is working properly. It only cost me two pounds, to be honest. It squeaks a bit. Um, I think it's by com Computerall. I think that's the brand. And it's two pounds. <laughs> Basically, you can buy 50 or 100 foot rolls of film, pop it in there, get a reusable cassette, pop it in the front, and wind your own film, and it works out significantly cheaper than buying the box branded film. I've never done it, because I just don't trust myself to do it right. Colleges use it a lot when they were teaching film photography, because it makes it cheaper for the college when they're giving out re reels of film, which they do to a point, you know every now and again. So I've had a look on eBay and this sort of one goes without any extra, any of the extra plastic canisters or metal canisters for between 15 and 20 pounds. For, so for two pounds I pop it on at 18 and see what happens. But that's all the non-clothing items. I'm going to pop them back in the back, uh, uh, bag together because I'll sort things out. So the, these are things I can get listed quite quickly because I can photograph them on my dining table in my living room and Jennifer won't mind so much, but obviously with clothing I have to take it upstairs to do it um, on the mannequin in the bedroom. And she, you know, I, I only really like to do it when she's asleep. So I can tell how much these are by whether or not they've actually got tags on, because one place I got to just sells everything really cheap. They've got hanging stuff, which is usually between a pound and three pound. They've got one rail that's all 50p and they've got one rail which is three for, three for a pound. I haven't bought anything on the three for a pound rail for a while because there's nothing on there. Probably because I'm picking it all up at 50p and what they do is if it doesn't sell on the one rail that on the where they put up the best stuff, they'll put it on the 50p rail and then they'll move it from the 50p rail to the 30 to the three for a pound rail if it doesn't sell. But I've been picking, just picking it up for 50p because why not? I don't want to miss it. So this is just a per una vest top with some flowers on it embroidered on it I don't know if you can see that it's quite nice it's a size 12 so it's not a huge size but it's just a nice basic vest top now most tops I put on for around I usually start them around 11 99 unless it's a really good brand and I will probably do the same with this but I do put offers on so I can get a lot of Marks and Spencer's, Dorothy Perkins and Next, and this is a Next one, and I just bought it because I like it. This is a, sort of like a tunic-y top, three-quarter sleeves, but it's got little elephants on it. Now this is a size, if I can find the label, if they haven't cut the label out, a lot of people cut the label out around here for some reason. I can't find the label. No, there it is. I missed it. This is a size 12, so I imagine that it came from the same person as the Peru and it was bought on the same day. They've just dropped a lot of their clothing in. So, you know, a nice little roughly front thing. But the elephants are really cute. So again, I will probably just put that on at 11 99 What's this one? Nice floral print. Again, size 12, same person I would imagine. This is Dorothy Perkins. Very festival. Very nice. I mean, the, the problem with using a good camera is it does not focus out properly. I'll just focus you out a bit, zoom out a bit. It's not much. And I'll sit back a bit. Yeah, that's a bit better, isn't it? You can see it now. It's a lovely pattern, that. And again, I'll put it on at 11 99 and see what happens. She's found a toy to play with. Um, so those three, they were all 50 pence. This one was a pound. Again, it's only next. It's next my essentials. This is a size 10. But I just love the white top with blue polka dots. I think it's blue. Yeah, navy blue polka dots. And that gorgeous bow on the front. It's just so cute. Never fit me. Even when it was smallest, it wouldn't have fit me. I'm sure there was another one that was a pound in that lot. It must be one of the other items. I don't know. Anyway. And then the last one is yet another Peruna. This is a size 16. 
and it's sort of like a sort of pinky open three quarter sleeved cardigan it's quite nice it's just basic but for 50p if I only get eight quid it's fine so, we'll put that. so that's the first lot some more and then last well this one's for me but I haven't tried it on yet so I'm hoping this is for me and it's a size 20 because I've got big boobs you needed to know that Lex Oliver would appreciate that I've just been watching Lex and it's just a Marks and Spencer three quarter leg top I've got pockets in it just a basic I can probably wear it to work I don't want to go back to work um, what else did I get that there? this one Again, that was 50p. I keep forgetting to tell you. This is 50p as well. And this is next, I think. Next, Knitted with Love. Again, a size 16. It's just sort of a goldy beige jumper. Long sleeve jumper. It's a nice colour, actually. With buttons down the back. I get, can get a lot of neck stuff for like, neck, like cheap. Like I said, 50p for 33p. And so on, but it, it just depends. I mean, last one of the times I went in, I bought two items because they only had George and Florence and Fred and not, not particularly nice stuff. This is a short sleeved linear, I would say it's almost a tank top, really, isn't it? Is it sleeveless? Ladies' tank top with the almost a guile diamond pattern. No, this is. I'm sure there's something in this yeah it's got 11% angora 4% cashmere and 2% wool so that's why I picked it up there's no holes in it feels lovely and soft it doesn't feel like it's been washed incorrectly and it's squished but again this was 50 pence 50 pence Ugh. this one's for me as well this is a Marks and Spencer jumper. If I can get it the right way around for you. Purple. I like purple, as you can tell. Just M&S woman. It's a 20. Just cow neck jumper. It's nice. A bit darker than it shows up. But that, that's just for me. Next, I have got... This was from one of the charity shops near me this is mint velvet it's a size 10 this was two pounds and it's just a long sleeve top and it's got this if I can find it, is it this yeah this zip detailing on the side that's really nice I haven't looked at prices on this so I know mint velvet can go quite well it might just be really cheap I, I haven't really looked but again, if I get 15 for it, I'll be happy. I'll probably start it around there. Maybe a bit higher after I've researched it. That was a pound. This one was two pounds. Sorry, it was two pounds. Usually they sale at rails a pound, but it's, it was two pounds. And this is two pounds as well. This is... Uh, the White Company. And it, it's, it's, again, a size 10. Probably came from the same person. It's just sort of like a, a taupe beige neutral colour jumper jersey roll neck yeah, yeah turtle neck jumper sweater it's quite nice and the last item in this bag was 225 and this is a nice skirt as you can see a little black skirt with purple polka dots on it um, and it's Hobbs it was two pound I don't know if you can see that but it was two pound 25 I might start using my phone to film I just need to get a tripod mount for it because I haven't got one and uh, this has got nothing special in it but I picked it up because it was Hobbs 
nice little short skirt in a size mini skinny mini I would imagine a bit being Hobbs yeah it is a size 8 but it's a nice nice little skirt so Hobbs I know is a good brand so that's lot that lot uh, last things were things that I actually paid up on I don't normally like to pay up too much um, but we were in, in Roth and we went into their charity shops can be quite expensive they're probably not but to me they are compared to what I get around here like for 50p and a pound and I've got loads of Jacques Vert for a pound but this was five pound and it's Jacques Vert but I just like the floral pattern um, it's a size it's a size 14 so the most I've got for Jacques Vert I think is is 18 pounds so I'll probably put it up around that mark I see what the camera's quite a nice little top there's nothing wrong with it and also both this is the most expensive thing I've ever paid I've ever bought it's got to be a man's because it's got a collar size of 16 and a half and it's a black collarless covered in fluff shirt and it was 5 99 and it's Donna Karen signature it's, it, you can feel the quality. It, I, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's genuine. I am going to check it out. It's 100% cotton, made in Hong Kong. So I don't know if that makes it vintage or, but it's just really nice men's shirt, large shirt. Yeah, definitely man's shirt because it's collar. They don't. I mean, women don't have 16 and a half collar sizes, women don't have car sizes, only men do, but it's really nice and it, you can feel the, the cotton quality is lovely on that, yeah and it's got a double, it's got a French cuff, it's got a double cuff, so that's nice, I'm going to put that up at 30 and see how we go, I mean I possibly could get more, but yeah that's really nice, I'm just going to bag this lot back up, I'm miles away but at least the clothes are close. <laughs> And then we'll go on to the next bag. So this is this is two weeks worth of sourcing because I just haven't. I'm getting ready to go back to work and I just haven't had time to to do a lot. Is she gone to sleep? She's gone to sleep. Hooray! That means we can crack on. Normally when she does this, I'd be upstairs taking photographs while she wakes till she wakes up. Okay. So we went into the charity shops the other day. So I'm going to just put it all in that bag. I'm trying to condense all the bags down so that I've got, you get rid of these carry bags. Again, a lot of this is just high street. It's Dorothy Perkins. It's next. This is next. This is the next size 12, but it was a pound and it's just a really nice short sleeve floral shirt. Festival, maybe. It's quite nice. It's long. It's not long enough to be a dress, but it is long and it's just really nice. And so that was a pound. Again, I should probably just start at 11 99 Unless you think I should be charging any difference, let me know down in the comments below. This was nice. This is a pound. A pound. I think it was a pound. Yeah, it was, because it's uh, from the Red Cross, which is always a pound. All the clothes are a pound. So this is M&S Collection, and it's a grey and black body count. Or is it beige? It looks grey in this light. Uh, bodycon dress now I have had a quick look they go in the Marks and Spencer's ones go for about 25 quid of this sort of style it is a size 12 so just put that on at 25 and it's a pound and it cost me a pound it's lovely I think that's a lovely dress next I'm gonna have to start using the carrier bags orange burnt orange what is it why did i buy this oh i like the buttons it's peruna it's just peruna size 16 though which is a good size again this was a pound just an orange top t-shirt but i like the buttons You've got these buttons down the front and i just think they look cool that's, that's just a nice casual top So there's nothing majorly high end, obviously the Donna Karen is, but and the last thing I got for a pound in that shop was Betty Jackson Black. Now I have no idea what Betty Jackson Black is. 
I just liked it because I love the colour. It's a size 12. It's just this really nice purpley top. It looks a bit more pink. It's actually more purple. Top. A nice satiny top thing. Collar. It's ruched. Yeah, Betty Johnson Black. I'm assuming Black is the name of the label. I don't know. I'm going to have to look that up. I have not got a clue. I just liked the colour and thought, why not? So that's got a little, little belty thing as well. So that was that one. Let's get this tag and out of that. This is near the carrier bag crunching. This was £3. Um, and it's just a phase 8 jacket. But I love the colour, it's a lovely sort of cerise pinky colour. So, I don't know, I'm going to have to look up phase 8 jackets, it's just really nice. Maybe 18 to 20, I'm not sure. Got, got the buttons, nice buttons. It's just a nice colour jacket, I really like the phase 8, some of the phase 8 stuff's really nice. Like I said, some of it doesn't go very well. But I like that, hopefully that will. I have got a purple thing, short sleeve jumper thing. I don't know why they make short sleeve jumpers. They don't keep you warm, do they? Uh, this one was a pound, I think. No, this one was two pound. And it's by, oh, it's by White Stuff. Again, it's that lovely, I don't think there's anything in it. It feels soft, but I think it's just acrylic. There's a slight pull on the front, which I can fix or declare. They've cut the label out. Which is annoying, but I just like it. So, and I don't know, is this an old white stuff, this label? That's the thing when they make short sleeves, you can never find the bloody top. It's a size 14. So it's a nice size, but it's, it is a white sort of label. I don't know if that's going to focus because it's very difficult. But it's that lovely purple colour again that I love. Last one from this shop. What a and this is Zara Woman, 67% uh, cotton, 24% flax linen, 8% metal, 1% silk. This is a nice jacket, needs a good steam fitted jacket, needs a good steam in before I photograph it, so I will steam it to get rid of the, the pockets creasing. It's got little pinstripes on it, it's just a very nice cream jacket by Zara Woman so again I'm not sure on that I'm gonna have to look at maybe 25 20 I'm not sure I'll have to look it up I did have a quick look while I was in the shop and just to determine that it was worth buying so. right that's the stuff we've done next bag that's Paul's receipt for some CDs that he bought for himself now Paul picked out two men's Marks and Spencer's shirts now these were pound ninety nine each in Bernardo's. Paul likes his Marks and Spencer shirts, but they're in his size, so if they don't sell, you can have them. You can pay me for them. So just this one, which is a sort of bluey grey one. They're in good condition. This one is autographed by Nigel Hall. So whether that will make a difference, I don't know. Extra large. It's nice. And this one again is, uh, again, right, Marks and Spencer Extra Large, but this one is Luxury Royal Oxford, Blue, Blue Harbour, finest quality fabric, and it's sort of like a plaid, plaid shirt, but again, it's extra large. Casual shirts rather than work shirts. I think it's just probably nothing special in it. It's got the little Blue Harbour label down the bottom. Don't know whether that's a good brand for Marks and Spencers. I know some of their stuff can go really expensive. I'll have to look it up. But they were one ninety nine, which I didn't think was too bad. So, like I said, if he if they don't sell, they are pool size. And. The last thing from this one, again I paid up for, it was £4.50, 
is this little cardigan. It's a very nice little cardigan with, um, it looks like cactuses on it, but it's not. It's, it's navy blue, black, but it's Jack Wills. It was £4.50. I don't know if that's going to focus for you. It should do. But the reason I picked it up was the other Jack Wills label there. It has in it, it's 100% lamb's wool. I like that, that's, that's, it's so nice. Very, very nice. So we've still got two bags to go. Two bags. I bought myself some DVD rewritables. One of them's loose. These items were all a pound. This is a size 14 and it's an Oasis white fluff, white gilet with the uh, faux fur trim. It's rather nice. I never really liked them. It's a little, what look like little snowflakes on it. Um, yeah, it's really fluffy and soft. There's nothing in it I would imagine. It's probably just all man-made. I can't find the label. But it was a pound. Um, my local charity shop's selling all its clothing for a pound because they're shut in for a refurb fairly soon. So they don't just don't have the space to store it even over at their, one of their other shops. So they're just getting rid of it all for a pound. What's this? This is another Marks and Spencers dress. Another Marks and Spencers bodycon dress. This one is sort of like a burnt orangey red colour. It's a little bit darker than it shows in the video it's very dark it's beautiful but again a bodycon dress for marks and spencers for one pound lined fully lined it you know you can't go wrong for a pound can you um i don't think there's anything special on it it's just just a dress but it's marked you know trying to have a quick look But yeah, I mean, it's just another bodycon dress. Good for work. Very nice. That. And I think there's one more thing in that bag. This is just a skirt. I think it's Peruna. Yeah, it's a Peruna. It's a 14 small. So it's a petite. They originally wanted £3 for it, but it was on the pound sale. 14 very small with that waist. It's just sort of a wool. It feels like wool. It's actually quite nice. I, I scared it gets a, pl a plaid. Is it wool in it? I can never find the flaming. Here it is at the top. Her Una, short length. Oh, hang on, here we are. It's got 38% viscose, 20 some 25. Uh, it's got um, wool, mohair, and alpaca in it. It's very hard to see from the labels, which is why I bought magnifying glass. So that's quite nice. We have probably about £20, £21.99 on that, I think, because it's got wool and alpaca and mohair in it. Last bag, and we're at. Nearly 30 minutes. Oh my. Okay, so this stuff was either a pound or 50p. So the first one is a medium oasis butterfly top. This was 50 pence. You can't go wrong for 50 pence. If I sell it for eight quid and happy, it will go on at 11 99 to start now. Uh, then this one. This is Warehouse, I think. Yeah, Warehouse. It's a size 12. Floral. Sleeveless top. I mean, good job summer's coming. It's black on the back. Patterned on the front. Again, even these I'd start at 11 .99. See where we go. I do have offers on everything. I'm happy to take offers. Uh, this one is... Oh, damn terrible at finding these blinking labels. 
This is just Dorothy Perkins size 12. They've obviously had a lot of size 12 in, probably from the same person who took the last lot in. Sorry about that. There was some things stopped while I was showing you this one. Very nice. Dorothy Perkins size 12, just a basic top. Another one with butterflies on it because who doesn't love a butterfly print? I can find it. It feels really nice. I think it's probably cotton. A little zip at the back. Again, it's a size 12 Dorothy Perkins, so this probably all came in from the same person. I don't know what's in this, but it feels really nice. See if there's anything in it. Do you know, it's just viscose, but it, it's a nice feeling viscose. So who doesn't like a butterfly print? It's quite nice. A couple more items to go, not much. We're nearly there, everybody. Oh, we bought this for Peanut. It's like a bean bag. Tigger. Still got his tags on it. Don't tell me how much it's worth and that I should sell it on eBay. It cost 20p. But Paul paid for that. He also bought her, and she's too young for it, but she does bash on it. This cyber piano. Apparently they had selling for about 12 quid. And it was 50p. And it works. And that's the one I want to show you last. So is this the other one that was? It's another Oasis top. Medium, I think this one was a pound, but again, it's got these chiffon sleeves, a neutral beige collar and cuff. Just your basic top, it's quite nice. Got clothes everywhere, and I think this is the last thing. This is the last thing, and you think, oh my god, and it's brown. What are you thinking? Brown. What am I thinking, indeed? Let me just find the. Oh, it's, this is you, or. Oh. I wish that there was feeler vision because this feels absolutely the softest thing. It is a brown cardigan. If I can get it, it's a long cardigan. It's not my size, sadly, otherwise I would be keeping this. It is a size 14, it's monsoon. Now you know monsoons might sell, might not. Hopefully this will. It's got these lovely toggle style buttons on it. But I felt it and I thought there's, there's something in that that you can tell by how soft it is. So this is 50% lamb's wool, 10% nylon and 40% angora. I'm going to pop it on for £25 because it is absolutely the softest thing. Oh, it is absolutely stunning. It's actually hooded. It's a hooded cardigan. Oh, I didn't realise it was hooded. That's cool. So you can see there's the hood just here. I won't put it on because I'd stretch it because I'm huge. But yeah, for a pound for that, and it's got lamb's wool and angora in it. Oh, cuddle it. Yeah, I am going to be putting it on for about 25 and we'll see what happens. So I think that's everything. You've seen this one, haven't you? No, I still got some more. I missed that from the Monado shop. Silly me. This is a floral, cream floral top with a black background and it's phase 8, size 10. Little belt at the back. I missed that. How could I forget that one? I was just dying to show you my Angora top. My uh, lamb's wool or whatever's in it. I don't know. And then there's... Oh, this is lovely. This is... I bought this just because... I had to. It is only Asda. It is only Asda. Georgia Asda. But it's Disney Georgia Asda. Disney Asda. Disney at George. And it is Miss Piggy sparkly t-shirt. It is a size 16. So too small for me. Otherwise I'd be keeping it. These are selling for about £12. So it was two quid. I'll put it on for 12 15 and see what happens. Miss Piggy! Lovely t-shirt. So yeah. Sparkly. Sparkly Miss Piggy. The last item is another monsoon item. Oh yeah, it was £1.99 so I'm not worried about £1.99. And it's a geometric print top. Size 10, so it's not a huge size. It looks bigger than a 10 to be honest, but it is 10 with a peplum bottom, but it's 100% silk. So, hold it like that so you can actually see it better. There you are, 100% silk, 
of Aztec geometric type prints and that's that that's really nice so that is everything and I'll tell you how much I spent now if you haven't already totted it up in your brains in total all this stuff that I purchased I haven't worked out how much it's going to net me if I sell it at the price I want to cost me 38 pounds and 54 pence so I'm really pleased with that because I think there's a couple hundred quid in there easy so yes yeah, so I am going to be spending most of the weekend getting it measured photographed drafted and listed I have a, 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 a way of doing it that works for me because I've got to be careful because I can't leave Jennifer for too long um, I'm gonna make her some food in a minute because she'll be getting hungry what do you think did I do okay do you think I did okay um, I, you know, I mean, I, I watch a lot of other sellers because I want to see what they're buying and what brands go well. And I, 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 I have taken on board a lot of it, but there's some stuff I haven't. You know, it takes a long time to learn. I got a huge pack of, I don't even know how many items I've got. I've got, let's count them, shall we, very quickly. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ten eleven oh my god that dress is heavy twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five 31, 32, 33, 34 items of clothing and the, the non-clothing items and it cost me just under £39. I'm going to more than get my money back with that lot. Even if it takes a while to sell with clothing, I don't mind if it just sits there for a while. I'm pleased. We might be going out again tomorrow. It depends on whether we were going to go somewhere today, but it, we were both shattered because we'd taken Jennifer to nursery, and we both hadn't slept. Well, I hadn't slept very well. Paul had, but I just, I just don't at the moment. Uh, and it started to rain, so we thought, although I'm going to have to go out sourcing in the rain at some point, Jennifer had had a long day, so we thought we'd just bring her home uh, and just cuddle up on the sofa. Well, she's asleep. But we'll um, hopefully be out tomorrow. So you may get another haul video probably Thursday of next week. Because I'll get all this done before I do anything I buy tomorrow. And of course I've got my usual places where I go Tuesdays and Thursdays. Which is where my 50p items come from. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you think I've done okay. Let me know down in the comments below if you've enjoyed this. And if you want to see some more. Um, I, I follow lots of resellers. Particularly U UK ones. But also some American ones. Uh, so if you're into it, if you're interested in watching any resellers and you don't normally and you think, oh, that's interesting, I want to watch them all, my advice is to watch Nick and Andrea Hills, Karen Barnes over at Karen Wills Clothes. She's brilliant.